Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Rosalie's Kitchen. And I am Rosalie Harpole, and these are my cookbooks. Uh, Rosalie Serving Best Loved Italian, Rosalie Serving Country. And I'm just so excited to be with you guys tonight. Well, we're gonna do something a little bit different on our video cooking class tonight. We are gonna actually have breakfast for dinner. Have you ever thought, oh my gosh, I don't know what to cook for dinner tonight. And all of a sudden pops into your head, warm buttermilk biscuits with strawberry jelly and honey and sausage gravy, fluffy scrambled eggs. Oh my goodness, I think I'm hungry for breakfast. Okay, so I want you to join me tonight. Get out your a bowl, and in your bowl you wanna put two cups of all-purpose flour. First thing we're gonna to do tonight is we're gonna make our buttermilk biscuits. So we have a tablespoon of your baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And just put that right in there with your flour. Give it a good whisk so that it all comes in very well incorporated and mixed in with your flour. Okay, you're gonna kind of make a well there. And now we have five tablespoons of your butter. Okay, let me reach over here and get my knife. Oh, here it is. So you're gonna cut this butter. This also comes out to one third cup. And now some recipes call for six and seven uh, tablespoons of butter. So that would be up to you. You can kind of experiment with this recipe and see if you like that better. All right, so what we're gonna do now is got a little pastry blender here. You're gonna mix this butter right in. You can see how that's going in so good. Right into your flour until it resembles small peas. I think you've heard that um, quote before a lot of times, the small peas. Well, that's what you want. All right. We gotta do this for five minutes until it's really incorporated in there, and then we'll be back. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back, and look how this resembles the small peas, as we said. Okay, we're gonna make a well right in the middle. You have three-fourths of cold buttermilk. Cold butter, cold flour, keep everything as cold as you can. It'll make a better biscuit. All right, we're just gonna fold this right on in, and It'll come together very well. You're doing your kneading right in the bowl. You don't need to do any when you get on your board here because we're doing it right now. And look how beautiful that's coming together. And it's got all of your flour incorporated right in with the buttermilk. Okay, in this bowl we have a little bit of flour. We're gonna sprinkle it right over on our board here. And just keep on going until that all comes together. Get all your flour in with your buttermilk. All right, and this is very nice. Go ahead and put your uh, dough right over here. And gather all the rest of it. And flour your hands. Bring your dough together. It should come together very nicely. And this is a little more sticky than what I had thought, but it's gonna come together. All right, and then what you wanna do is just pat your hands with this flour again to get all of that dough down, okay? And then start patting your dough. And you want it to be about three-fourths of an inch because you want some nice, rising, wonderful biscuits. All right, I have over here, what I have done is I have taken my, uh, butter flavored Crisco right there and I have greased this nine inch baking pan so that's what you want you want these biscuits to be close together all right so you want to take your little biscuit cutter here and go ahead and start making your biscuits don't twist your cutter just make them and turn them up right like so remember you've got everything you have kneaded it right in the bowl Bring your dough together, and you want to put these very close. You should get about eight of these biscuits. Look how beautiful those are just coming together, so pretty. Okay. They rise better when they're snug together, and you want your oven to be 425 degrees. Oops, I think a little piece fell off right there. And you don't want to make these for very long. About 10 minutes is your maximum. So bring this together, give it a squeeze, it's okay. Give it a good squeeze, look how pretty that's coming together again. 
All right. And so this is, we've got four, and four is eight. We might be able to get one more out of here. Let's try that. And there are your, whoops, that one is a little bit crumbly. We don't want that to be too crumbly. Okay, just knead that down a little bit. There is a pretty biscuit. Okay, we're going to set that one right in the middle. Set this one over here. So we have nine. And I don't know if we can gather another one in here, but we're going to try. We'll scoot him right there. All right, and there are your beautiful biscuits. Let's pop those into the oven. You can also brush a little bit of butter over the top of those if you'd like. Uh, or you can brush buttermilk on these. But we're going to go ahead and pop these in. And if you have something else to do, you could even let these biscuits just sit on the counter. They will actually rise while they're sitting there because these do have the buttermilk and your baking soda, which is the two agents that cause rising. Of course, your salt and your baking powder also. Okay, they're very pretty. We're going to pop them in and we're going to come back in 10 minutes. All right, guys, look at these whoops, gorgeous biscuits with our going to be for our um, breakfast for dinner tonight. Isn't those just glowing? Aren't those glowing, I should say? Okay, so let's butter these. Oh my goodness, I can't wait till you taste these. They look so delicious. And the nine by uh, the nine inch round pan worked out fine for these. Got them all together, and that's what they like to do. They can rise better that way. So let's just lift out one of these gorgeous biscuits. Wow, you've got to look at that from the side. Isn't that beautiful? Steaming and hot. All right, let's put some honey on that. I love honey on my biscuits. And let's give this a taste. I just can't wait till I get this in my mouth. It's going to be so scrumptious. Mmm, that biscuit is delicious. All right, come back for the next segment, and we're going to do some sausage gravy. Happy breakfast, everybody. Look at these biscuits. Love you guys.